So here's a quick little demo on how to install, configure, and otherwise get going with GPG. GPG is the software that we're going to use to um, demonstrate file encryption. So I have the I have the Blackboard class up here. There's a few little preliminary things that we need to do. First, we'll start downloading uh, GPG. So just download the full package. You can see here it comes with quite a few components. Uh, for this, we're only going to use the Cleopatra component and the GPGX component. You'll see why in a minute. So while that's downloading, I can go here. I'm in the lab, looking at the lab, and you'll need to grab my public key. So that's Brian public key TXT. And if you just click that, my public key will pop up here. I'm going to highlight that key copy the text and I'm going to make a new text file here on my desktop called Brian public key I'm just going to paste my key in there save that I'm also going to make another text file called uh, hello world and save that and this will be a file that I'm going to end up encrypting. So I think this should be almost done downloading. 10 seconds left. We're done with the key. And we're going to go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to click through here just to install. So we need Cleopatra, we need GPGX. Um, we're not going to use, you're welcome to install these extensions if you want to play with it. We're not going to use them for the class. Cleopatra is going to allow us to, the desktop icon, Cleopatra is going to allow us to import the keys. Um, and then the GPGX is going to give us uh, an ability to just right click a file and encrypt it. So while this is installing, uh, you're welcome to step through these steps that I'm making here. Make a Hello World demo file if you want to. Go ahead and encrypt it just like I'm going to do in the next steps. Email it to me if you want. Do this before week five. Make a goal to do this before week five. And then if you'll email it to me, uh, I'll download it and just positively confirm that I'm able to decrypt it. And as long as I am able to do that, you should be good to go for the encryption part of your lab. And that's worth 30% of your lab. So I would highly recommend you do that. So it looks like it's installed. Not going to view the readme. So there's a couple things we need to do now. And we can start with Cleopatra. Like I said, Cleopatra is going to let us load the certificate. So in order to encrypt, a file to send to me, you need to use my public key to do that. So we need to import my public key. So we can just go to desktop and we'll view all the files and you'll see Brian's public key that we made earlier. We imported one. Now you see the B. Kyler certificate there successfully imported so we can close Cleopatra. And the next thing we want to do is take this hello world file which you can see is unencrypted. I'm going to right click it go down to the GPGX options and we're just going to encrypt it. So you get lots of options there. So we can sign and encrypt, encrypt or just sign. We're going to encrypt in this case. So we'll hit next. We have to choose what certificate we want to use, the public key that we want to use to apply the encryption. For, that's the one I gave you for, of my public key. And we'll click add and then we'll, click, uh, we'll encrypt. And it's, we're going to get a warning here. Uh, I'm not going to belabor the warning here. You can read it, and the uh, the meaning of the warning is part of the lab, so I won't uh, I won't go into this. We'll just hit continue, and you can see that the encryption succeeded. So we'll finish here, and you'll see a new file that was created called Hello World.txt.gpg, and that is actually the encrypted file. So if we double click that. You're not going to be able to not going to be able to open it because it's encrypted. So, like I said, you're welcome to email that demo file to me 
by the end of week five. And if you do it by the end of week five, I'll be happy to download it, double click it, and make sure I can decrypt it. And if I can do that, you should be good to go for your lab. Let me know if you have any questions as soon as you can.